Kassan from Hey You Guys. Uh, lovely to meet you. I, you. I wanted to ask you, what's it like to pick up this award? And do you think you've had a? Do you think it's important to have a healthy relationship with critics over the course of your career? I think it's important to have a sort of honest relationship with criticism. Full stop. You know, you've got sometimes you feel sensitive and you can't. You know, you've got to register when you're not quite robust enough to take some stuff. And I think quite a lot of the time you have to just be honest enough to know what to hear and what to act on and not be overreactive, oversensitive. But essentially, you know, as an actor or director, your work is always under critical judgment. It's just in the nature of it, whether you're the first time you show a screenplay or the cut of a movie or whatever, it's under scrutiny. And so you get used to judgment, being in the judgment game, and you're grateful for considered versions of that. And, uh, and, you've got to, and sometimes it hurts and sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it's very illuminating. Ken, you've, um, you've, got, you've done quite a lot this year. You obviously directed Cinderella, a huge success. So you've got, had a run at the Garrett with your theatre company. Um, kind of what, what sort of, how do you choose the next direction? What, what kind of thing are you going to look for next? It's often people. And so, you know, the, 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 at the Garrick next week, Red Velvet opens. And, and that's a long-term relationship with Adrian Lester, who I think is a quite wonderful actor. And his wife, Lolita Chokrabata, who's written this great play. We've been talking about that story for... 15, 17 years, so for me it's a thrill to be working with them in the theatre. It's the project, first, you know, first uh, uh, black actor to play Othello in this country and his story throws up a ton of other things about uh, life and politics and so uh, I I'm there because I, I feel passionately engaged with them and with that subject. Um, and Lily James and Richard Madden come back from Cinderella to Romeo and Juliet and it, it feels like you're led partly by maximizing these uh, creative relationships, you know, by coming back and, and, and knowing each other, starting a little further down the line of, of, uh, of your sort of uh, endeavor. And that's a very, very enjoyable feeling. Thank you. Mr. Brander, um, yeah. obviously tonight is a beautiful and very exciting celebration of cinema. But in the past week, we've, of course, had the very sad news that we've lost one of our greatest lights in uh, Alan Rickman. I'm curious, as someone who um, worked on, of course, films with him, if you had any thoughts yourself about what made him such a special performer and, and any memories you have that really uh, are precious to you now. My memories are of his, of his generosity, particularly to younger actors. I met him as a young student actor at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art when I was 19. And, uh, and he was so supportive of the play that we were in. Uh, so he sort of showed us how a professional actor behaved. And uh, the thing that he did in relation to that institution was across the following 35 years that I knew him, was keep giving back, quietly, modestly, but passionately. He just, he loved it. And he loved supporting people uh, who were part of something that he knew had given him a great deal. He was very, very aware of his good fortune. Although he, in some senses, he waited a little longer than you might imagine for the great success that he had. But he was, a, he was generous in the way that he gave back and, and consistent in the way that he gave back. And uh, was always put people at their ease. When I went on the Harry Potter set for my first day, it was his second movie. And this is typical of him. He was very, very, very generous at welcoming me in and introducing me to people. Did it all effortlessly. Um, that was a classy, classy part of that guy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!